Hey, welcome, everyone. Uh, I'm Adam Miller, and I'm joined here with uh, Jim Fitzsimmons. We're here to just give a brief update to our, our SWIFT employees on a couple different items. Uh, first thing we want to touch base on is uh, the weather and the, the severe weather that we just worked through that, that hit the you know, significant part of our country. Um, I want to first by, you know, mention just the great people of SWIFT that, that really helped us navigate some of those, you know, severe issues. Uh, we had a, a terminal in, in Lancaster where we had probably a hundred or so drivers that were kind of hunkered down in that terminal, kind of waiting to wait out the storm. And we had a lot of people in that area rallying around those, those folks, bringing uh, food and water and supplies and we had our, our terminal in, in El Paso that had power where you know, those employees went to stores and filled up a, a full trailer of goods and, and delivered that into the terminal to make sure our, our folks were comfortable. And there's probably a lot of folks I'm, I'm even missing that, that, that really stepped up for, for our people there. And I'm so proud of uh, how our company reacted through that. And, and we performed really well dirt, you know, despite the, the difficult environment, but, but m most importantly, our, our people, uh, you know, work together as a family. And uh, I wanted to make sure I mentioned uh, the people that, that I, you know, knew the stepped up and uh, again, glad that we got through this very safely. And, you know, it's one of those things where things could have gone really poorly, um, but, but the, hey, the SWIFT team uh, was very cognizant of the potential risk out there and, and really performed well. Yeah. And, and on that, Adam, I saw a lot of cool stories. It wasn't just obviously in, in Texas, but, you know, Texas was a market that was, you know, impacted probably worse than most just because of the, uh, you know, the water freezing and the water issues they had there where they had to, you know, boil water. But even, again, our Lancaster facility, uh, the, the water line, I think it, a valve or something froze. And so, you know, it was one of those massive water lines, but our mechanics were able to figure out how to take it apart and re-ran it and, and got water going again. So there's there's a lot of neat stories of people kind of stepping up and, and doing stuff outside their normal uh, job to, to make things happen. And we even had, you know, staff that was, you know, staying in the terminal to make sure we were, you know, supporting those hundred plus drivers that were kind of sheltering in place. So just a shout out to everyone that was involved and, you know, and also just a shout out to all of our drivers. And so if you, you know, watch the news at all or social media, you, you, you were just seeing pile up after pile up. And one of those, you know, really, uh, nasty ones with a lot of fatalities was was in Fort Worth. And so, you know, I'm very proud to say that Swift wasn't involved in not one of those. And so as, as that week went along, it was really kind of two weeks of bad weather, but that week, three weeks ago uh, was when it was severe. Uh, you know, very proud to say that we had not one truck involved in, in a serious crash that week. So uh, hats off to all the, the men and women out there making the best decision of when to shut down, when to slow down, and then when to proceed. So very, very good week. Yeah, and this isn't just a one-time incident. I mean, we've seen uh, this trend with SWIFT over the last three years. If we look at some of uh, the progress in our CSA safety scores, I mean, we, we are now one of the most safe uh, fleets out in the country, and I'm very proud to see that, that progress, and, and really that's a testament to our, our great driving associates, our, our shop employees, and our office employees who help support our drivers over the road. So, again, I uh, just want to recognize the progress we've made there on the safety front. You want to talk about the uh, the tablets, Adam? Well, even before we get to that, I, I think now that you, we're coming out of the weather, there's going to be uh, a lot of freight opportunities for our, for our drivers out there. Uh, you know, supply chains were already uh, backed up. Inventories were, were pretty lean with our customers. And and so when, you know, we saw a lot of the uh, trucks on the road had to, had to pull over for an extended period of time because of the weather, you know, those supply chain issues just got that much worse. And so... Uh, March will be a month where we're going to have a tremendous amount of freight opportunities. So I encourage our driving associates to, to get out there and run. This is going to be a, a great time to make up any, any miles you may have missed out on in, in February and a, and a chance to, to you know, earn a, a real strong paycheck and to earn a bonus. So um, I just encourage everyone to, to get out there and run if you can. Yeah, yeah. that freight, you know, that freight just keeps coming like Adam talked about. It, it got piled up uh, and, you know, most – most customers are so far behind on inventory levels that they're still trying to just keep the, uh, you know, the shelf stock, let alone get to building up inventory. And so, 
the great thing is normally about now you'd be feeling the impacts of Chinese New Year where, you know, Asia takes two weeks off and you have no freight coming over for a two week period of time. You know, the great news this year is that's kind of a non event because of, you know, the surge of what's going on. And so it's just going to be, you know, busy, busy all, all the way as far as we could see. And, and so, uh, you know, another thing we wanted to highlight is the investment we're making uh, in the telematic device in the in the cab of our trucks. I think most of our Omnitrack units are probably a decade old that have been put into our trucks. And so we've got some new technology that we've started to roll out. We've got, uh, you know, up to date tablets that have uh, been, uh, you know, implemented in many of our trucks. We have over a thousand that have been installed and we're investing in probably another 350 new installations every week and the hope is by by september that we'll have every truck outfitted with a state-of-the-art tablet that has a, a great operating device that's been powered by a company called elios it's actually a company that we've worked with for several years um, from a driver app standpoint and we've had such a great relationship with them and such conviction in what they can do that we actually purchased a, a majority stakeholder in that business uh, on February 1st. So uh, it's now now part of our, our family of companies and we'll be there to help develop and, and maintain this platform that we believe will provide a much better experience for our driving associates, better workflow in the cab, better navigation, uh, better connectivity with your with your driver leaders with your terminal and so there's look out for, for more to come there but expect to see a state of a state of the art tablet be installed in your truck in, in the in the near future here we're excited about that yeah and I'd, I'd ask that everyone have a little bit of patience you know like like anything new you know we're this is the first time in you know 30 years we're making a, a change in the in cap communication so there's going to be a, a learning curve there uh your feedback is very valuable because uh, you know, keep in mind, there's been a lot of testing that went into this leading up to the rollout. But until you go live, there's there's stuff that you, you can't catch. And so uh, I guarantee you that once the dust kind of settles this year and you get used to using that device, we work some of the, the bugs out of it. This device will be day and night, you know, improvement over the over the current uh, product we have. Yep. And then maybe lastly, Jim, you want to touch on uh, maybe COVID and some of the things we're seeing there? Yeah, so you know, good news is is things continue to improve. If you look at uh, COVID case count numbers, you know some states are starting to reopen, uh, loosen up. You know some of the mandates they had. Now, obviously, everyone just needs to keep using you know common sense and uh, continue to to do the right thing. So you know, COVID's not behind us by any means. Uh, but the vaccines are out. You know, the third vaccine by Johnson and Johnson, the single dose vaccine. Uh, that is just recently out. And so I just saw an update earlier today where uh, Arizona received the first vaccines for Johnson & Johnson on Monday. And today they announced that uh, essential workers will be first to get the single dose vaccine. Now, the problem with trying to, we, you know, we've been working on this for a year now, trying to figure out how, to, how do we best manage when this time comes. Each state has so many different, you know, counties and each county controls their own. And so it's, nearly impossible for us to try to manage that for each individual driver. So, um, you know, that being said, we just need each driver if you, and hey, this is a personal choice, right? It's it's not ever going to be required, you know, SWIFT's not going to require you to get the vaccine. Uh, but if you do want to get the vaccine, then there's a couple of websites we'll provide to you uh, that would help you, you know, figure out where you would go if you qualify. It's like I said, state by state, county by county, those vary based on your age based on the type of work you do, but you know, being in trucking, uh, your essential services. And so that does help qualify you uh, to get onto the list earlier. Yeah, I think what Jim mentioned, it's encouraging to see that the, the case counts are falling. Uh, that's across the country, certainly in, in, in our company, but it's still, COVID's still not behind us. And so we're maintaining, you know, safety precautions in all of our terminals. Uh, we're, we're socially distancing where possible, we're, we're, we're wearing masks where, where we need to, and, and hey, we just need to continue to work together as a team, keep people safe until, uh, until we see case counts drop uh, dramatically lower than where they are today. But uh, certainly encouraging news and encouraging to see the number of vaccines that are rolling out every, every day across the country. And hey, we, we look forward, just like you, to kind of returning to maybe a, a more normal state that we're accustomed to. 
Um, but hey, lastly, we just want to again express our appreciation for the the great men and women who who work here at Swift and make this such a great company and uh, appreciate all the hard work to to start the year off. And hey, we look forward to a, to a successful 2021. Yeah, thanks for uh, all everyone's doing out there to to keep keep the wheels turning and keep the product and the food, you know, heading into the stores where it's uh, greatly needed. Thank you.